Yellow. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah, just playing a little basketball. Yeah, in the rain. Yep. I'll be there in uh, about a couple minutes. Oh man, how's it going guys? A little late to the show this year. I understand winter has already started, but I managed to put together a winter forecast and thank you for tuning in to the 2015-2016 State of the Weather Address Winter Quarter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a forecast and I'm going to break down how I made this forecast first and then the second half, I have a special guest, a pretty wild one, that's going to come on and actually give the forecast. So let's get right into it. Now I examined five key areas in developing this winter forecast, and that was the current oceanic oscillations, uh, El Nino, La Nina, etc., the current computer models, the Siberian North American snowpack, previous El Nino winter cycles, in other words, analogs, and then the current weather pattern. Now, if you look at this chart, the last really strong El Nino we had was in the mid-1990s. And, of course, now you can see the 2015 area, and it's way above average, plus 2, plus 3 degrees. We also look at the northern Pacific waters and the waters along the coastline of the United States, and they're very warm this year, and that's going to have an impact in this winter. Now, here's a forecasted El Nino, and it's actually forecasted to substantially weaken throughout winter and into spring. And by the end of winter, it could be only a, a moderate to slight El Nino. Now, I do believe that we are going to get more Arctic outbreaks across the central and eastern United States as El Nino weakens. The North Atlantic Oscillation, when it goes negative, you typically get these big Arctic outbreaks in the central and eastern United States. And I think that's going to be more amplified when El Nino weakens. So that's what I've used to put this winter forecast together. And now it's time for the winter forecast. And with that, I've got a special guest that I've brought on to the show today. And here we go. Hey, hey, welcome to this weather segment. And uh, abominable, are you kidding me? Uh, dude, no, no, no. I've got some snow cones for you. Uh, well, 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 I guess we're out of those snow cones. How about the next uh, best thing here? We got some bowling pins. Anyone want some bowling pins for uh, their, their winter? Uh, I got uh, 67, 67 high score in the Himalayas. I think that's pretty good. Um, uh, well, anyway. We've got our uh, winter forecast here, and as my old buddy once said, you don't have a winter forecast without having a couple bowling pins in front of you. So that monster El Nino is whipping her tail this year, folks. And I gotta tell you, I don't, I don't know where that went, but our temperature outlook for 2015, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna have a warm, and I mean spanking warm, northern United States. And we're gonna have some cooler than average temperatures in the southern United States. And I gotta tell you, I am struggling up here too much. I'm starting to melt, I think. It's too warm in here. All these lights on me. Now let's look at our precipitation map. And it's gonna be particularly the southern United States. We are gonna have a crazy winter with lots of precipitation. And this may extend up into the central United States towards Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, maybe extending out to Oak, uh, Iowa, that one state somewhere over here, Iowa and Minnesota. You guys may get a lot of snowstorms this winter, but I gotta tell you, a lot of the precipitation in the United States this year is going to be wet and rainy, and then maybe changing to a lot of snow afterwards. This warm weather pattern we're gonna have is gonna be pretty dominant this winter. Even the southern United States is gonna be warm. The only reason it's cooler than average is because there's gonna be a lot of clouds and precipitation going on. But on the sunny days, it should be nice and warm. As my old uh, pet parrot once, um, uh, you know, I gotta get back to the Himalayas. This is just getting ridiculous here. Too much lights on me. This guy thinks I'm abominable. I gotta get the heck out of here. 
And with that being said, folks, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into my winter forecast. So remember, stay safe this winter, folks, and uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see what happens. And I gotta go and make some snow clones. See you later. Thank you, Mr. Abominable Snowman. And that's all we got today, folks, and I will see you soon. Hey there. Did you enjoy this video? I really hope you did. Now let me ask you something. Would you like more of these videos? Would you like to learn how to forecast yourself? Because believe it or not, on my Facebook page and YouTube channel, I'll be releasing more free videos, plus forecasting tutorials just for you. So go ahead and go below and follow and subscribe. Uh, right below this text here should be two big buttons down there. Go ahead and do those two. And uh, don't forget to share this uh, video with others. So go ahead and do that now. Still here? Well, I guess I'm going to have to show you some goofy images of myself until you go ahead and click below and follow and subscribe. All right, here's image number one. This is of me actually storm chasing. Uh, and this is when I got stuck in north central Kansas. Big old mean storm coming after me. This is kind of how the mood was. Storm was pretty hungry, had some hail. And I was pretty scared. I was running for my life there. Uh, this is my stint at. I think it was Bob's Burgers and Fries, Mean Mean Bob Burgers and Fries or something like that, and that didn't last too long. Um, but yeah, if you're still here, you're pretty resilient, I'm guessing to say. So I'll go show you, go ahead and show you some more pictures. This was a picture my friend took of me a while back. It's actually me throwing an airplane through a trash can, and somehow that airplane took a 90 degree turn to the to the left and he took the picture just in time so I thought that was a money shot actually yeah, that was, that's one of the top 10 favorite photos of myself right there and yeah this is uh, me uh, eating some kale believe it or not I got that whole thing for two dollars and 99 cents I thought that thing would be at least 15 20 dollars but nope 2.99 it was so yeah uh, if you're still here just go ahead and Go below, click follow, click, click subscribe, and uh, go ahead and share this video with others, and I'll see you soon.